हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल नंद किशोर क्लासेज येस्टडे वी हैड डन बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री वी हैड लर्न अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट वन एन सी आर टी बुक ट्रिग्नोमेट्री चैप्टर क्लास टेंथ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन द बोर्ड इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी राइट एंगल एट बी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर हैविंग अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी लेट मी ड्रॉ इट लेट सपोज दिस इज अ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी राइट एंगल एट बी वट आर वी गिवन ए बी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर वेर इज ए बी हेयर इट इज ए बी इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर बी सी बी सी इज सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंड वट वी नीड टू फाइंड वी नीड टू फाइंड साइन ए कोस ए साइन सी कोस सी टू पार्ट आर देयर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू फाइंड बोथ बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बेस इज देयर परपेंडिकुलर इज देयर आई फाइंड हाईपोटेन्यूज राइट सो हाउ कैन आई फाइंड हाईपोटेन्यूज यूजिंग पाइथागोरस थियरम ए सी स्केयर इज इक्वल टू ए बी स्केयर प्लस बी सी स्केयर ए बी इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड बी सी इज सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर स्केयर हाउ विल हाउ मच विल इट बी फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सेवन स्केयर इज फोर्टी नाइन सो टोटल बिकम्स सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सी बाई टेकिंग स्केयर रूट ऑन बोथ साइड वी विल गेट ए सी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो अवर फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑलवेज इट शुड बी टू फाइंड आउट ऑल द साइड्स ऑफ द ट्रैंगल वेन टू आर गिवन लाइक आई वॉज गिवन हेयर ट्वेंटी फोर एंड सेवन टू साइड्स सो थर्ड साइड इट वॉज ईजी फॉर मी टू फाइंड यूजिंग पाइथागोरस थियोरम सो आई यूज इट एंड आई फाउंड ए सी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर नाउ लेट्स कम टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन ए राइट साइन ए येस्टडे वी हैड डन वन कंसेप्ट वेयर साइन वी स्टडीड दैट इट्स इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर ओवर हाईपोटेन्यूज राइट सो साइन ए इज इक्वल टू परपेंडिकुलर अपॉन हाईपोटेन्यूज नाउ वॉट इज परपेंडिकुलर लेट अस जस्ट अब इट रिवाइज द कंसेप्ट आई एम यूजिंग एंगल ए एंगल ए एंड नाइंटी डिग्री टूगेदर दे विल मेक अ बेस If AB is base, then obviously BC is going to be perpendicular. So my perpendicular here is BC. Hypotenuse is AC. What is the value of BC? It is seven, and value of AC is twenty-five. So its answer is seven by twenty-five. Next, cos A we need to find. Formula for cos A is base upon hypotenuse what is base ab hypotenuse is ac so answer is 24 by 25 let's move to second part angle is changed now from a to c yesterday we did this concept sin is no doubt it will remain same p upon h perpendicular upon hypotenuse but when angle c we are using here it is angle c that means angle c and 90 degree together will make the base so this is base and this ab will become perpendicular <coughs> right what is perpendicular ab so let me write it hypotenuse is ac so its answer will be 24 by 25 and last cos c obviously it will remain b upon h but now base is bc check the diagram base is bc upon hypotenuse ac so its answer is 7 by 25 so whatever concept we had covered in our previous lecture all are being used here in the very first question itself where angles a c both things we have used as well as perpendicular upon hypotenuse all the trigonometric ratios methods we have also used so i hope you are clear with question number 1 question number second is exactly same i would suggest do question number 2 do this question at home if you find any problem just 
write in comment section we will cover it in our next video now let's come to question number three let's move to question number three look at the statement it is a bit different than our previous question but very easy especially i would say now see sine a is equal to 3 by 4 we are having and we need to calculate the value of cos a and tangent a let us see how we are going to do sin a is 3 by 4 first of all when i know that sin a is 3 by 4 just one thing sin is also equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse i need to think about it and i need to write it i have written p upon h and when these kind of question comes always draw a diagram it will make question easy a b c let's suppose a b c is a right angle triangle i'm having why i have written p upon h here now what we need to understand that for p 3 is get there and for h 4 is the value if i consider p upon h that means p is 3 h is 4 right but what we are going to suppose now let perpendicular in this diagram perpendicular i am considering bc is equal to 3k and hypotenuse ac this one is 4k now question comes in mind why perpendicular is not taken as only 3 why 3k is written right this question must be coming in your mind so let's discuss this point first let's suppose uh, father and son are there and we are given ratio of father's age, uh, son's age upon father's age let's suppose this ratio is given as 2 upon 7 okay let's suppose ratio of son's age and father's age is given 2 by 7 but that doesn't mean that son's age is 2 years and father's age is 7 years can we say that can father be of 7 year age never yes there is a possibility that it is like this 4 upon 4 that means 8 upon 28 that exactly father is of 20 year 8 years old and son is 8 years old this can be possible that means whenever any ratio is there there can be one constant which must be multiplied but here i don't know <coughs> it is just 3 by 4 i don't know which that constant is so what we considered 3k upon 4k that means k can be cancelled and finally ratio was 3 by 4 so something should have been there that is why we considered perpendicular bc as 3k hypotenuse ac as 4k it is not mandatory that you should take k you can take m also a b c any value you can take but obviously if whatever you are taking with 3 same should be taken with 4 so now we are done with perpendicular and hypotenuse and what uh, let me write perpendicular bc as 3k here hypotenuse ac as 4k here now it has become our previous question exactly same this was the only step which we need to think of now we had discussed when two sides of a triangle we are having then we should find third one so here ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square value of ac is 4k ab we need to find and bc is 3k 16k square it will come here 9k square that means ab square is equal to 16 minus 9 is 7k square so taking square root on both sides we get value of ab as under root 7k because it is k square so only k will become and 7 and root 7 so value of ab comes out to be root 7k i hope you are clear now we need to find cos a look at the given question cos a is given by base upon hypotenuse what is base 
root 7k and hypotenuse is 4k k and k cancelled we get root 7 by 4 so its answer is root 7 by 4 next is tangent a tangent a is p upon b that means perpendicular what is perpendicular perpendicular is 3k here base is root 7k so k and k cancelled its answer is 3 upon root 7 see the only difference was whatever value sin a is given we need to suppose 3k and 4k for perpendicular and hypotenuse in this case if it would have been cos a right cos a equal to 3 by 4 then since cos is b upon h so base would have been 3k and hypotenuse would have been 4k let's move to the next question look at question number 4 15 cot a is equal to 8 this is given so i've told you first of all what we should do we should draw a triangle okay so let's draw a triangle abc right angle at b now when we are given 15 cot a is equal to 8 this question is exactly same as that of last question but first step is different just cross multiplication cot a is equal to 8 by 15 once we are done with cot a is equal to 8 by 15 now cot is base upon perpendicular right we should remember this and then our task is easy let base a b is equal to 8 k and perpendicular b c is equal to 15 k accordingly this is p 15 k base 8 k let me write here right so what we should do now we should find 8 ac how will find ac ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square ab is 8 k so 8 k square bc 15 k so 15 k square it is 64 k square plus 225 k square 225 plus 64 what will we get 289 k square so finally value of ac will come out to be square root of 289 is 17 square root of k square is k so ac is equal to 17 k right so i am writing 17 k here so we have found the hypotenuse so our task is very easy now sin a sin a is perpendicular over hypotenuse what is perpendicular i am having 15 k and hypotenuse 17 k so k and k cancel its answer is 15 by 17 and last part secant a secant a is it is reciprocal of cos right cos is b upon h so secant a is h upon b what is hypotenuse 17 k base is 8 k so k and k cancelled answer will be 17 by 8 so we are done with fourth question it's very easy now fifth question i am just giving a hint please do at home because maths is all about practice you should do the practice once if you find problem let me know this is the next question secant theta is 13 by 12 and question is calculate all other trigonometric ratios that means secant is given find out sine cos tangent cosecant cotangent all other remaining five we need to find what we should do secant is c h upon b right when secant is h upon b consider hypotenuse as 13 k and base as 12 k when h and b are given find out perpendicular and use the same method to find out other trigonometric ratios i hope you like the video and you have understood all the concepts so please subscribe to the channel like it and click on the bell button as well so that whenever i'll upload the next video you will get the notification thank you so much